Well, hello and welcome to my sewing channel. I'm excited you're here because I'm gonna share with you all my sewing room details and my sewing room storage ideas. I will also show you like details of my sewing machine table and how I organize my sewing room and just like the overall setup. So don't go anywhere because I want you to decide, do I have a functional sewing space? Can I actually inspire you to set up your sewing space in a more functional way? One of the things that I like about this is that I have everything, it's like in a triangle. So I've got my ironing board right here and then I've got my sewing machine right here and then what I need to cut is down here. So for example, I have this that I'm working on and I just need to trim it down. And I just changed the blade on my rotary cutter. So now I'm just showing you just me being in my space and how it works for me. It's not perfect, but I love how functional it is. And I can just turn around like this and start surging whatever it is that I need to surge and then go right back to sewing. I actually need one of those special rugs underneath so that my chair will swivel a little bit easier. And then now I can move right on over to ironing. And if you're curious as to what I'm working on, I'm working on the handles on these car seat covers that I sell. So you've probably seen them before on my video. And I'm just turning those inside out and ironing them down. Oh, and I also want to mention I got a new cordless iron. Not this one that I'm ironing with right now, but I'm going to do an unboxing on a Panasonic one that I got for Christmas. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because I don't want you to miss that video. Oh, and then I also wanted to show you this really cute sign that my friend got me. And I haven't had a chance to hang it up yet, but I think it is so cute. I really like the the one especially that says wonder aloud why I'm still in my pajamas <laughs> so let me know what one relates to you the most I do have extra lighting right here that comes down and I can make it come over here so that it shines on my sewing machine I also have my serger right here and I got the light to iron and then I also can bring the light over here if I need extra lighting when I'm cutting my material. Okay, and I actually bought this from Ikea. What I like about these racks is you can put the bigger bins in them. So I just did it at the bottom, but see how they have these different notches right here. So you can do this size or the size that is not as deep and so this is just what i have like a few of my fabrics in and then i've got like some crochet items it's not completely organized but you know i'm doing the best i can and so then i also have all my patterns right in here Not only do I have the Ikea bin, but I just picked up one of these Rubbermaid bins from the store and I've used these ones for about like two months now and so I'm just kind of giving you an update. It's not as sturdy, but it definitely does the job. And when you have all of your fabric in there and you know all that you're storing is fabric, it's strong enough, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then another favorite when I did my sewing room makeover, a lot of you commented on these. I love these dividers. So you don't need anything extra. You can get those on Amazon and just stick them on your shelf. That would also be good like if you want to organize your closet area a little bit better. You just get those dividers and put those in them. This is also storage that I got from Ikea. These are shoe bins and I just attached them here and it has like all my Etsy shipping supplies and my finished products and just some miscellaneous stuff up here. 
Okay, so the other thing that I was really excited to tell you guys about is my pegboard over here. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what that looks like. So when I'm sitting down at my machine right here sewing, I love that I have my pegboard up above that has all the supplies that I need to finish a project. So these are all of my serger threads and my sewing threads. It's not a lot, but I don't like to keep a lot of things on, um, I don't know, in my inventory if I don't have a place to put them. So really, this is all my threads that I have. These bins are like a catch-all, really. I don't have a rhyme or reason to them, but they're like pencils and things like that. And then I have all my scissors down here, and I can't really get enough of these snappy bags. They hold everything that I need, like my sewing feet, my needles. Here's some glue sticks. These are labels for when I sew my projects and just, you know, some different types of trinkets. This is what I used when I made, these are the noses that I used for my gnomes. And this right here, these, I actually painted this pegboard myself. I just picked it up from Lowe's. And these baskets are from All A Dollar. And I, you know, you can see I just have my ribbon in them. These ones, I haven't had a chance to make them cute yet but I will probably make some clear like snappy bags like this, but just in, you know, the bigger size. And then, you know, I just got some buttons hanging here and my acrylic rulers that I love. And that's about it with the pegboard. I also want to talk to you a little bit about my sewing table not a you know it's not declared a sewing table it's actually an old office table that I've had forever it's a hand-me-down that I've had and what I really like is how wide it is I actually re I put some sticky stuff on it which makes it look like it's you know the granite marble but that's just like a wallpaper that I stuck on there but I love how wide it is because I can sit on both sides. So I have one sewing machine on this side. And then, you know, you can see I have my other sewing machine right here on this side. And then I keep my serger right there so that, you know, like I showed you before, I can just turn around and just flip back and forth really, really quickly. And... I need to probably take this machine out of here, but it's so good. I can never decide. This is my Husqvarna Viking, my very first, uh, well, I've had this machine for about 15 years. I love it so much. And then I acquired my this Baby Lock Soprano right here. And this one I love as well. They both are very good mach machines. I don't want to put them away because... This machine has been very, very good to me. So I know I realize that a lot of you may not have your own sewing space, but I think the key to having like a functional sewing space is, you know, you've got your iron ready for you, your cutting and your sewing machine and a light. And this light is very affordable. Oh, I think this light is like $40. So let me know what type of sewing space do you have? Oh, and make sure that you check out my sewing room makeover reveal. It's a before and after. And I do hope to see you in my next video. So until next time, happy sewing. Bye, guys.